You have five minutes, Joe. You know, they told me I had a visitor. I figured it'd be Mother Teresa before it'd be you. <laughs> nice to see you too, Dad. By the way, Mother Teresa's dead. Yeah, and so was I as far as you're concerned, smartass. Locked up for three years. Haven't heard from you since the day I got pinched. Haven't seen you since they dragged me out of the house. Yeah, well, a lot's happened since then. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Fancy suit. Attitude. Would you do? Give up the life? Become a shark? You know, that's exactly what I did. Somebody had to provide for the family. Hey, you sure hey. didn't. Sit down. I'm the only one here. Your friends aren't here. Mom and sister aren't here. Just me. So I can either A, call the guard, walk out that door, and not give you a second look. Or you can let me help you. You know, that's the first time you've ever stood up to me. In all these years, the first time you've ever even tried to stand up to me. They teach you that in your fancy law school? When did you go legit? When I saw my dad being dragged out of the house by police officers in handcuffs. When I saw mom crying herself to sleep till 4 a.m. in the morning and sister going hungry. Because no one would help us. Because your friends thought that you turned on them. So mom couldn't get a job. So I had to go out and do what I had to do to make it work. I did what I did to protect the people I love. <laughs> yeah? How'd that work out for you? So, you want my help or not? How in the hell are you gonna help me? Well, been in contact with the DA's office. They've agreed to make a deal. You turn state's evidence, they'll give you full immunity, witness protection, and you know those people that you claim to love, Mom and Susie, they'll get a fresh start. All you gotta do is testify. Think you can handle that? You know, I wasn't there for you, was I? Tuck you in at night, read your stories. Teach you to ride a bike, Little League Baseball. I was out running errands, doing deals for these clowns I thought were my family. <laughs> they weren't there for me. They're not here. I wasn't there for you. Your mom. Your sister. I'm sorry, son. I wasn't there. Don't you ever forget, all of this made you who you are. And I'm proud of you. You know what, Dad? As hard as it is to admit, you're still my father, and I still love you. And one day, I'll forgive you. But you're right. I'll never forget. This is a good deal. I think you should take it. I'll let the DA know. I'll be back on Monday. Monday. I'm proud of you, son. I'll see you Monday. Time's up, Joe. Let's go. Yeah.